Well, it's a little known museum on Oahu that has a five star rating on the popular review app Yelp. Amazing, delightful, little gem. Just some of the comments. Kathy Moneno takes us on a tour tonight, one guided by a retired police officer who's found a second calling in Kapuna Life. The most unassuming of museums at the entrance to Honolulu Police Headquarters opens the door into a breadth of fascinating history of law enforcement in Hawaii. King Kamehameha, his first law was a law about protecting the people, protecting travelers, people that come through his kingdom. Uh, the law of the splintered paddle basically said the old, the young, the weak, they lay down beside the road without fear of harm. You see HP, that is the first official emblem, a symbol of the Honolulu police. This is Officer Alfred Karate. He designed the current badge that we wear today. He may sound like a tour guide, but retired HPD officer Eddie Kroom says he's not. He is a storyteller. Many people didn't know that Duke was a sheriff. He ran the Honolulu jail. Duke ran the Honolulu jail for almost 20 years. 20 years? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, he did. Uh huh. Here is his father. Oh, okay. Okay, and, and his father was Honolulu police. But he does love walking and talking people through history, especially seniors. To me, it's the best because that's where I learned the most from the senior groups. When they come through, I usually have my little pen and pencil off to the side, and I, I just walk around and listen. So all you got to do is walk around and listen. All of this, a 22-year passion project since well before he retired in 2010. You know, to be part of something that's totally, totally unique. This department is unlike any other law enforcement agency in the United States. Our beginning is unlike any other law enforcement agency. Kroom came through Hawaii on the way to Vietnam in 66, and just our fragrant air drew him back his last six years in the Air Force at Hickam. And I, I learned so much about Hawaii, about the culture, about the people. And then I joined the police department. And as a, as a, 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 a policeman, you're... You're part of the community. You know, you, you can't step aside from it. You can't be, uh, you know, I'm a native of Pittsburgh, but I live in Hawaii. You, you know, you can't do that as a policeman. You have to be part of the community. And I felt part of the community. You know, I've always felt part of the community here. He joined HPD in 89, started working on the museum in 97. They put up a few pictures and things like that, but it was mainly uh, patches and guns. It wasn't until while working here I read a book by Leon Strauss, which was the first documented history of the Honolulu Police Department. Um, and that changed everything for me. The book became his blueprint. A teacher influenced a shift. The kids were oohing and aahing at the guns and everything. So one of the teachers asked me, is this what you want the kids to equate law enforcement with? Nothing but guns? And I was thinking, I didn't know how to answer because she was right. The first thing I knew I had to do was get rid of the guns. Um, I must have turned in for, uh, for uh, destruction about 200 guns, okay? Uh, I took down all of the patches. This was a storeroom, it's our office now. But everything was there. The boxes, I started to open boxes, it was like Christmas. And I started to get all kind of donations, things that people had been keeping at home they started to bring in. His official title is HPD Museum Manager. Not getting paid, but you wouldn't know it. Law enforcement in, in Hawaii was not like alongside of history. We were part of it. We were part of everything that went on. And at the age of what he'll tell you is three score and 12, 72, there's no end in sight. Oh, I, I love this. I love this. Um, until this is complete, I, I, I really don't think I'll ever be done until it's complete. For Kupuna Life, Kathy Munano, KHON2 News.